yesterday we had like a lot of comedy at the beginning and then I came on and I just completely switched the mood so this time I'm going to try and like ease you into it a bit more by basically giving you a bit of a ramble of a story before doing quite a short poem. So um, you know when you're kind of um, starting to date someone and you're full of hope and passion and it feels like you have this great connection and then there's a moment that you realise that it isn't really anything serious on their part um, because after you've given them a blowjob, they say, thank you. <laughs> um, it's just something that I've noticed. <laughs> um, so I'm emotionally unavailable, obviously. Um, and so I've just been wanting to have like casual partners um, but then I ended up um, falling for one of these casual partners for the third time, so it was like the third person. And at first it was kind of like, um, they liked me too, and um, yeah, that's kind of how they get you. Yeah, they, yeah, they seem to like you at the beginning, so we like, wrote each other poetry and like, cooked each other meals, and um, you know, blah blah blah, and then he found out he was in love with his ex. So, <laughs> um, so before coming to the fringe, um, I was thinking, oh, you know, anything could happen in these two weeks, and like it might be the last time that I see him. Um, and I really wanted that in my head, that last time together. Um, so I'm cooking, and um, I'm about to put the food in the oven so that it's ready for when he arrives, and we can just chill out. And um, he texts me saying that he's about to leave. And uh, then five minutes later, he cancels because he's made a mistake and smoked too much weed, so he can't come out. Um, so obviously, my response to that was to try and get an Uber to his house um, to convince him to, to come. Yeah, um, that didn't work, obviously. Um, but you know, all I wanted was that like last time. Is that so much to ask? No. <laughs> um, yeah, he he thought that he was the crazy one, but um, I guess I win that now. So that's good. That's something. Um, but now, this is something that I've revealed like previously on other nights. Um, but life is really fucking with me at the moment. I feel because not only am I broken-hearted in Edinburgh, um, but I also find out that I've got chlamydia. Woo! Um, and um, I weirdly hoped that it was him so that he couldn't kind of blame me for like doing kind of fucking up something again. Um, but now his test has come back negative, and so it looks like it was the guy that I was seeing before that, um, who was also someone that I fell for. I'm not very good at this casual thing, it seems. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't really know what is um, kind of worse now the fact that I can't like fuck the pain away because of the chlamydia, or that um, I'm not going to be able to fuck the guy that I like. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I think he's kind of alright with like the actual last time being the last time. Um, I just think life is so unfair. Um, but um, I have actually like completed the medication now, so... <laughs> um, so this is now my poem that I wrote about chlamydia. <laughs> a sinus infection, a mosquito bite, a sprained wrist, a long fever, chlamydia. Chlamydia is not a flower, chlamydia is a soup. Chlamydia is a beautiful name, chlamydia hates Trump, chlamydia has ruined my life. Chlamydia, 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 get rid of her. Chlamydia, chlamydia, chlamydia. Chlamydia is not curable. Chlamydia is not a big deal. Chlamydia is just an STI. Chlamydia, just go away. Chlamydia will go away. It will take up to seven days. Just like a sinus infection, a mosquito bite, a sprained wrist, a long fever. Thank you. Mm -hmm.